hi and welcome to hardware heaven today we are going to be taking a look an nvidia gtx 650 ti graphics card now this would have been out on launch day unfortunately the royal mail decided not to deliver it and then my pc died so thank you very much for being patient and let's get right into today's video So here we have a Palette GeForce GTX 650 Ti with Boost. As you can see here on the box, it just gives a little bit of information to do with what the graphics card has. We've got physics, SLI, GPU Boost, 3D Vision, all of that snazzy stuff, and it's a PCI 3.0 slot. It then goes into a little bit of information regarding DirectX 11 and how you can play in full 1080p. So I'm just gonna open this up with obviously my snazzy box cutter, which is a pair of scissors. I need a better item to use. <laughs> While we're opening this up, I'm just going to go into a few of the minimum system requirements. You're going to need a PCI Express compliant motherboard with one dual width X16 graphic slot, one 6-bin PCI Express supplementary power connector, a minimum of 450 watts on your PSU, 300 megabytes of available hard disk space, 2 gigabytes of system memory, Windows 8, 7, Vista or XP with 32 or 64-bit and a CD-ROM slash DVD-ROM or an internet connection to install the drivers. Now, as you can see in the box, we've got a VGA to DVI adapter, some power supply connectors, the graphics card itself, obviously, but we'll just put this to one side for now. You've also got the driver installation CD, as well as a quick installation kind of manual guide, everything that you need to know on how to install this graphics card. They don't include an SLI cable or a bridge connector, unfortunately. That's something that I would like to see included, seeing as you can SLI this graphics card. So bear that in mind if you are purchasing a palette one and you are looking to SLI them. So let's go into some important specs and everything that you will need to know if you're wanting to purchase this card. As you can see on the palette version of the GTX 650 Ti Boost, there are dual fans. Now if we have a look on the other side, as you can see there is the 6-pin power supply port and then there's only one SLI port. So that is to note you'll only be able to SLI this with two cards and not three. And then for your inputs, you've got two DVI ports, a display port and a HDMI port there. So that's to note as well as so you can see, depending on what screens you have, what ports you'll have. We've got a black PCB, which as I said before, looks really, really sleek and nice. It's better than blue ones. It fits better in most cases. And then just on the inside, we can see the copper piping. This graphics card has a 192-bit memory bus, up from 128-bit on the original 650 Ti. It's got power of around 120 watts, peaking at 140 watts when overclocking. As I said, there is SLI that wasn't originally on the original 650. It's got memory of 1520 megahertz and is GDDR5. The GPU on this card runs at 1006 megahertz, boosting up to 1073 megahertz as required. Now let's take a look at some benchmark and comparison graphs for this card. Here we have 3D Mark. We're going to be comparing the 650 Ti Boost to the AMD Radeon HD 7850. The 650 GTX got 3,837 on the Fire Strike test, whereas the 7850 got 4,490. When overclocked using Boost, we got a score of 4,118. In Battlefield 3, the 650 Ti got a minimum of 39, max of 79 and an average of 63 FPS in comparison to the 7850 that got a minimum of 40, max of 84 and an average of 67. In Crisis 3, the 650 Ti got a minimum of 42, max of 90 and an average of 64 FPS, whereas the 7850 got a minimum of 42, max of 101 and average of 67. And for the last game we'll look at, Tomb Raider, the 650 Ti got a minimum of 41, max of 80 and average of 58, whereas the 7850 got a minimum of 35, max of 74 and average of 52. For the load power temperature test, the GTX 660 Ti Boost at idle got 
32 degrees temperature using 187 watts and at load it got 71 degrees temperature using 350 watts. The 7850 at idle got 31 degrees temperature at 184 watts and that load got 61 degrees temperature at 328 watts. Thank you so much for watching this launch review of the GTX 650 Ti and we will see you next time. Bye!